Yo, yo, it's your boy Fro. And today, I'm going to be talking about the 2023 film, Silent Night, directed by John Woo. So ain't nothing to it, but to do it. Now, now let's begin. begin. Three, two, one, one. Now, right off the rip, I am a big John Woo guy. I think the dude's a legend. Now, Hard Boiled, Hard Target, The Killer, I highly enjoy. I damn near give all of them 10 out of 10. I got to be honest, guys. I, I had high expectations for this film, and I know a lot of my film buddies were tearing it to pieces. Um, they were calling this movie a big piece of shit. Saw the film, and long story short, I was disappointed, but I didn't hate it, hate it as much as other people did. But of course, nowhere near my favorite John Woo film. Now, I have no problem following the main protagonist, Brian Godluck, and him not having a speaking role because I did think the reason behind it was pretty interesting. Long story short, his son gets shot and killed by gang activity, by a stray bullet while they're playing out on their front yard. Now, immediately, Brian goes out and he's looking for revenge, but the gang leader, Playa, which is a horrible name for a main antagonist, shoots Brian in the throat in a rather gruesome fashion. And I, I'm a gore hound, so I did get my fair share of blood and gore in this movie. I'm not mad at that. But uh, Brian gets shot in the throat, and he can't speak. Now, that's a cool reason for me. I'm in. But when everybody else in the movie does not talk... It didn't do it for me. Like, like there's there's certain key moments in this movie that are emotional, like the son dying, the the wife doesn't say anything, the detective played by Kid Cudi doesn't say anything. Like that was pretty annoying for me with the runtime of about an hour and fifty minutes. We do have our fair share of score pieces done by Marco Beltrami that I did like. I did like some of the score choices i know i read i saw a couple reviews that were like there is no score whatsoever and i gotta disagree there were little points here and there where i was like i don't mind that little piece of music and we and we do get some dialogue to be fair little tiny bits through radio dispatching or while they're tuning on the station so it's there and maybe some kids here and there at the ice cream truck but, but tiny little moments but the main characters and speaking, there are no speaking roles whatsoever. And again, for me, that was a bit annoying. Now, moving on to the acting, I did like Joel Kinnaman as our main guy, Brian. I thought he did a good job with the emotions uh, he, his character had to go through, um, him utilizing that he can't speak. Um, it's it, the eyes and, and the face acting. I did enjoy from Kinnaman, and I thought he did a rather solid job. I had no problem with him as the main guy, Brian. But my main problem with the actors is definitely the bad guys, the Mexican cholo-looking guys. They're horrible. They're horribly written, horribly acted. The main bad guy has a horribly done fucking face tattoo that looks terrible. Like, no joke. If you just Google image playa the main bad guy in the movie horribly done and i do think the villains are the weakest part in the movie i thought they were not memorable whatsoever the editing was a mixed bag for me because i thought the action sequences for the most part i thought they ranged between standard and pretty cool nothing in the movie really blew me away which is pretty sad to say because john woo is known for creating spectacular action pieces and sequences in his movie but there was nothing really in the movie that made me go yo that was fucking crazy and that was pretty disappointing for my viewing as i get near to the end of the review if you have interest in seeing this movie and you don't want to be spoiled click off now in three two one but i want to talk about the ending and why it pissed me off now it gave me heavy death sentence vibes as soon as we get to the suit, uh, the staircase and he's starting to wipe out everybody in the warehouse or wherever the main villain is, how he's going up the staircase, some of the camera angles. If you watch Death Sentence and come back and watch the ending of Silent Night, you can't tell me how similar they are. They're extremely similar. We've seen so many films where the character dies at the end, you know, and, and it, it I've seen it so many times, so I'm expecting to him to die at the end i'm like yo this is gonna take that fucking route i would have been more surprised if he survived but the fact that he dies in such a stupid way 
Kid Cuddy's character, the detective, suddenly decides to help him near the ending, uh, near the finale. He comes in. He's helping him in the shootout out of nowhere, really. It's random. And Kid Cuddy, there's a couple parts where Brian is in a shootout, and there's plenty of window time for Kid Cuddy's character to shoot the fucking person. Like, there's so... If you rewatch this movie near the finale, where the... The crazy heroin lady is like, ah, going crazy with the machine gun. And she shoots up Brian. Kid, there's so much time for Kid Cudi's character to go bang, bang, you're dead. But nope, Kid Cudi kind of stands by while Brian has to get hit, of course, so he can get the ending that he dies at the end, you know? Now, if there was any little thing I liked about the ending was maybe how he's looking into the ornaments and he sees the pictures of his family flashing by or the little flashbacks. I thought that was a little bit emotional. I might have cared a little bit, but the ending overall just turned me off. I was like, nah, fuck, man. I really wanted Brian to live. And I'm usually not mad at movies where the character doesn't live. Hence, Death Sentence. I thought Death Sentence did this ending way fucking better, in my opinion. But to wrap it up, my apologies if I sound long-winded, guys. I really wanted to love this one. I don't hate it uh, as much as other people do, but I wanted to love it. So at the end of the day, I am pretty disappointed. Um, Silent Night does have a pretty solid performance from Joel Kinnaman as the lead. Wasn't mad with his acting whatsoever, but the main antagonists and the villains are terrible. Um, they're very, very cartoonish and very hard to watch and look at and not in a good way. And uh, the action sequences could have been done better coming from a visionary like John Woo. But I was rooting for this one. Didn't love it. Don't hate it. So I'm going to give Silent Night 2023 a 6 out of 10. And that's it, y'all. It's your boy Fro. Until next time, did you like Silent Night? Did you hate it? Are you disappointed? Let me know. Comment below. Let me know your thoughts. Subscribe for more. I appreciate y'all. On to the next review. Peace.